Good afternoon Australia and welcome to Network 10's coverage of the 1984 Japan Cup. What a great race it's going to be. The weather in Tokyo today, it's overcast, 10 degrees centigrade. The track is a grass one and the going will be lightning fast as far as Australian standards are concerned. And it's the strongest ever assault by Australasia on an international thoroughbred race with three representatives including Bounty Hawk who's won four Group 1 races including two derbies. He was successful, of course, in the Victoria Derby as a three-year-old and then in the Australian Derby in Perth. He was beaten in the Melbourne Cup this month, but there were excuses for Bounty Hawk. Lester Pickett, the great jockey, will be on the globe-trotting horse Strawberry Road. Strawberry Road has had great form internationally this year with the fifth in the Arc de Triomphe. And, of course, Kiwi is also representing Australasia, the gallant horse who won the 1983 Melbourne Cup after coming from last. We look at the field, we have Mr CB from Japan, Espere de Noor from France, who was third in this race last year. We go down to Bedtime from the United Kingdom, who's won five out of his last six. The Italian Derby winner, Velnor. The United States pair, Win, and also Majesty's Prince, who's won more than $2 million in stakes. Also, Kiwi Kaiser Stern from West Germany. Strawberry Road from Australia. Symbolic Rudolph from Japan, who's unbeaten. He's won the Triple Crown, a three-year-old. And then the Flying Philly from Canada, bounding away and a bounty hawk, of course, from Australia, who's drawn the outside with Harry White in the saddle. There's a scene in Tokyo at the moment. It is a grass track. It looks pretty brown. Clem Dimsey's over there, and he'll be calling the cup, and we'll be back in just a moment after this break. Eh, eh, please screw this. Now, most people... He wins. He becomes a million-dollar horse. If Strawberry Road runs in the first seven, he also will be a million-dollar horse. Let's join them in Tokyo, and here's Philip Leishman. There are 14 horses in the race, and uh, the Japanese favour the forecast or Quinella-type betting, and uh, they bracket their horses, breaking them down to eight bracketed numbers. Kiwi is, in fact, bracketed with Majesty's Prince, and that is one of the favoured brackets, and uh, Bounty Hawk is with Bounding Away. Strawberry Road is uh, linked up with Symboli Rudolph, and uh, he is expected to go a good race. Well, there's there's Le Lester Pickett, who will, will be in Australia in uh, late February, March, uh, riding Strawberry Road today. First time he's ridden Strawberry Road. Quite impressed, he said, after track work on, uh, on Friday. It's a big opportunity, too, for uh, the Japanese to really exert some uh, influence on the international scene. They are hopeful of success and uh, surely the best opportunity that they've had for a long time. I should mention, if Strawberry Road finishes in the first seven, it'll take his stake earnings to over $1 million. Bounty Hawk in the foreground. Uh, well Law in the yellow with the black spots. There's Mr. CB. Very strongly fancied here. Bounty Hawk with it. So all is in hand now for the running of the Japan Cup 1984. 100,000 people at Tokyo. They hope for a Japanese victory, but uh, are they going to be robbed by this horse, Kiwi? He is hoping to prove the VRC stewards wrong today, and uh, we hope that he turns in a good performance. And there is the other Australian representative, number 14, Bounty Hawk. I don't know about uh, proving stewards wrong. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since. He's now that uh, leg has improved dramatically, and Kiwi is very, very fit. Number one, Mr. CB, the big uh, Japanese hope. He's at uh, 320 uh, yen uh, here for 100 yen. So uh, he's uh, the favourite on the uh, on the tote. Well, we welcome viewers uh, to the telecast in Australia. With the news that the tote, the Japan Cup is about to get underway, weather conditions overcast about 10 degrees and 100,000 spectators in attendance. Bob Bleachman of TV New Zealand. Kiwi is at uh, odds of 73 to 1 here in uh, Japan. Bounty Hawk is at around about 21 to 1. So uh, some pretty good money offering for the uh, Australasian representative. Strawberry Road, he was quite well supported. I just haven't got that at the moment. Jim Cassidy, he'll be a little nervous at the moment, I'm sure. It's a big race for him, riding against some of the best jockeys in the world. Gary Moore of France, Cash Asmuzin, who are now riding in France, the American jockey. And of course, Lester Piggott and Willie Carson. There's Katsurugi Ace, expected to run a pretty big race, Katsurugi Ace, for a long time in the race. Kiwi, uh, behind the Majesty's Prince, there's Kiwi, Katsurugi Ace. Another entrance in Bowley, Rudolph. Mr. CB, very, very popular here on track with the Japanese, number one. 
not taking the horses in as quickly as they normally do. They normally rush them all in in one, uh, one go, but uh, taking them in uh, almost individually here. And uh, we're going to have a start very shortly indeed. Not all that many out the back. Uh, Kiwi jumps from the number eight position. Bounty Hawk is slightly disadvantaged. He will uh, start from the number 14 position. But I think uh, Harry White, all the same, believes he can uh, overcome that uh, minor disadvantage. There's I'm, Kiwi about to go forward. I'm sure Harry will allow Bounty Hawk. He's being led up to settle down. So Sibagagi are now pleased to bring you coverage of the Japan Cup 84. Here's Clem Dempsey. Ball in. Racing in the Japan Cup away to a pretty fair start too. Bounty Hawk on the outside is being restrained early. Where's Kiwi? He's centre field. He's not back as far as we thought he might be. And Katsurugi Ace is going very quickly. The Japanese representative to go to the lead. Katsurugi Ace is going to lead the Japan Cup field out of the straight. United States representative second. Bounty Hawk up running third. Esprit and all inside Bounty Hawk as they will out of the straight. And then Majesty's Prince. No great pace on at the moment. They're followed then over on the outside there going forward by bounding away the uh, Canadian representative. Kaiser Stearns a fair way back in the field settling down. And Mr. CB's about four or five lengths behind that pack. Kiwi's got four or five behind him, which is a surprise. We thought he might be last. Into the back straight. This is a long way to go yet in the Japan Cup. As they run up past the 1600 metre mark. And Katsurugi Ace is the leader. Showed the way by about six lengths into the back straight. Wynn was running second and there followed then by Bounty Hawk up running third. Fourth from the inside there was Bedtime. There followed then by Symboli, Rudolph and Strawberry Road who was handy too. Moving forward over on the outside was Kiwi. Kiwi's only about uh, 8 or 10 lengths or no, 15 lengths from the lead. This leader Katsurugi Ace has gone mad. He's got a big break Katsuragi Ace of about 8 or 10 lengths. Wins in second place. They've climbed the hill now and go towards the 1000 metre mark. He'll get tired I'm sure. They make that back turn, a thousand metres left to go, and Katsurugi Ace has got a break of about 12 lengths over win. Bounty Hawks up running third. They're followed then by Strawberry Road improving. Esprit and Orz over on the inside, and then Symboli Rudolph. They're followed by Majes Majestic Prince. Going forward on the outside is Kiwi. Mr. CB starting to take off from the rear. Now the pressure being applied as they thunder down near the turn, where the leader's coming back to them quickly. Katsuragi Ace coming back. He's still got a handy break coming to the bend of about four or five lengths. Bedtime was second. They're followed by win around the straight. Bounty Hawks behind them and then Kiwi looking for run through the field at the 400 metre mark. And now the race on in earnest. Katsuragi Ace about to be joined on the outside. Challenges coming thick and fast. Majestic Prince on the outside is finishing well. Uh, they're followed then over on the inside by uh, coming home pretty hard out wide right on the track is Symboli Rudolph. They're right across the track. Katsurugi the ace in front. Bedtime trying to pick it up. Katsurugi the ace in front. And Katsurugi the ace is going to last to win from bedtime. Symboli Rudolph is run third. They're followed right along the track then by Majesty's Prince. Back behind that field was Kiwi who ran a gallant race. Then a gap in the field to Strawberry Road. A fair gap to Bounty Hawk. Well back with Wellmore who was never in it. Then a fair way back in the field to bounding away. Kaiser Stern, Esprit and all was second last. And the last one to finish in the race was Diana Tholon. Well, that will be the biggest upset that anyone could have hoped for. Katsuragi Ace. He is at outside odds here in Japan. And he has caused a monumental upset in downing a very good field. Did you see the way that the Australasian representatives performed? They performed with merit. Kiwi came home like a train. You'll see him coming into uh, the picture on our replay. When we look at the final stages, he came home very well indeed. Here is Katsuragi Ace as he makes his way towards the straight entrance. We were told Katsuragi Ace would lead into the straight and then compound. He did that for a stride when the challenges came, but then he kicked away and has won by about a length and a quarter. They've run 226.3, the last 800 metres in 47.9, and the last 600 in 35.5. Now, Kiwi, much closer than we anticipated, I thought, Phil. I think there's no doubt about it. He's a horse that needs a lot more ground. He was making incredible inroads into the lead in the last 150 metres. The, the, the distance found him out today, but there was no doubting he was ready for the task. Harry White gave Bounty Hawk every possible chance had him third going out of the straight. He dropped back, I noticed, at about the 600 metre mark to be fifth. He's finished centre field just behind Strawberry Road, around about seventh. 
Uh, Strawberry Road was handy enough coming to the turn, but could find very little in the straight. Let's remember that the jockey Nishihura, the rider of Katsuragi Ace, will be the hero of the nation. Japan have so much wanted to win this race, the truly international event for them. They had a very good field, and today they have had the dream result with number 10, Katsuragi Ace, proving too good in the run home. Waiting for the final uh, minor placings, uh, we'll have them very shortly for you, but it was close for the, uh, for the minor money. Bedtime's in that uh, photo for the minor money. The other one could have been another Japanese representative in Symboli Rudolph. But uh, waiting for second and third to be semaphored. Number four has run officially second. That's Bedtime, written by Willie Carson. And third is number 12. That's Symboli Rudolph, written by Wai Okabe. Eh, eh, peace, do this. Yeah. Third in the Japan Cup. Katsugari ace number 10 successful. There's a winning rider, Nishirua. An upset, as Clem said, was expected to lead and then die, but kept running. Bed time, second, Willie Carson and a Symboli Rudolph third. You can see Katsuragi ace in front at the moment with bed time on its inside. Almost got within a long neck, I suppose. There's Symboli Rudolph in the orange cap running on well with the two horses from the United States, Win and Majesty's Prince running on, but in fact, Katsuragi Ace coming away on the line to win by about a length and a half. You can see Kiwi getting through on the inside, running on to run just out of the first five. But Katsuragi Ace successful from bedtime from the United Kingdom and the first defeat ever for Symboli Rudolph from Japan. So Bounty Hawk failing there and also Strawberry Road. Strawberry Road never a possibility. There's Kiwi in the screen at the moment. Huge crowd, over 100,000. They're expecting close to 120,000 in Japan today. I found the camera work very interesting with the split, split screen, but uh, they'll be absolutely delighted with that victory. And I can tell you that it is going to pay very, very well on the Victorian TAB, and I'm sure that horse will pay very well in Brisbane and also in New South Wales and the other places where there was betting on the Japan Cup. So an upset result, Bounty Hawk and Strawberry Road both beaten out of the first three, and Kiwi running home strongly but we always thought that the 2,400 metres would be a little bit short for Kiwi in the Japan Cup. So that's it from the Japan Cup. Hope you've enjoyed it. The next network commitment of SWORT will be on December the 13th, the Amal Zatapak track meeting, the 10,000 metres meeting. That's coming up at half past nine Eastern Australian time on December the 13th. Hope you've enjoyed the Japan Cup and can join us on December the 13th.